Okay, so I've just got out of screening of Blue Beetle, DC's new film. Um, I saw it in IMAX, which was really great. Uh, the picture was fantastic, vibrant colours, the sound was incredible. Um, and I've got to say for the story, I really enjoyed it. I really did. Um, yeah, let's talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so I'm not going to go into any kind of spoiler territory on this. Uh, going into this film, I really knew nothing about this character, uh, about the history of the character. Uh, pretty much the same as when um, the MCU's um, Guardians of the Galaxy came out. I had no idea who they were. Uh, and this was a really great superhero comic book film yeah this gave me vibes of early iron man and an ant-man the really exciting early mcu films now i'm gonna butcher a couple of names here the main character of jaime reyes uh is played by zolo i can't i really just can't pronounce pronounce their names so i'm not going to attempt it but it's um miguel from uh, cobra kai and he's brilliant in this film and it's basically about a graduate that finds his direction after a ancient scarab device attaches itself to him and basically turns him into a Iron Man kind of Ant-Man weapon. As for the story itself, uh, it also revolves around the family, the Reyes family. You've got like Nan, you've got sister, uncle, uh, and they are, are all great. They are all great characters. Every single one of them has great screen time and it's a whole family affair. It's like Fast, it's like Fast and the Furious. It's all about family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, in this case, you really do enjoy the family screen time. You like every single character. There's not one weak character among them. There's also some great emotional scenes when it comes to the family as well. So it was a great ensemble cast. You've got Susan Sarandon as the, the villain of the film. She's great. Um, but this is all about the family. I think like this does for the Mexican people... Uh, what Black Panther did for the black people. And uh, yeah, it's, it, even the soundtrack is, ve is really good. Uh, you've got a bit of everything in there as well, as well as like metal and, and, uh, uh, and classic 70s music. Uh, but uh, it was just a pure adrenaline-filled roller coaster ride from start to finish. And uh, with a lots of emotion in there, some great weaponry. You've got echoes of Iron Man in there, a bit of Ant Man thrown in there, a little smidgen of Batman thrown in as well, uh, for that kind of superhero comic book feel. And uh, I really, I really loved it. I thought it was a bloody brilliant film, bloody brilliant. Yeah, one of the best, and one of the best films of the year for me. And uh, yeah. Um, and it's a shame because it comes at like the end of the DCEU. I don't know whether or not they're going to pursue this again and, and continue because this is a franchise. This is a Iron Man, Captain America, Batman, Superman franchise. This is something that could go on for three or four movies. Um, I'd love to see where the story goes from here. Uh, and where the characters, because these are great characters on screen. So uh, yeah, fantastic. I love blue. I really, really loved Blue Beetle. Uh, now there was two end credit scenes. There was a uh, a mid credit scene, 
uh, which is really good. And there's a post credit scene, which is just a bit of comedy. Yeah, so uh, two end scenes there. But yeah, fantastic. Really enjoyed it, loved it. See it on the biggest screen possible, the loudest speakers you can. I'm sure you'll have a ball. Fantastic. So there we go. That is my little review of Blue Beetle from DC. Really do hope we see these characters again sometime in the future. Uh, they can't just nail the coffin shut with these characters, you know, with this character, because it deserves it deserves its own franchise. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye. Thank you.